Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your November 2021 reading. Hope you guys are doing good. This is a general reading. I cover career, romance, finances, family, etc. So take what does resonate with you and leave the rest behind. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Let's see what's going on with you, Leo. Messages of light and love come forward for Leo here, Spirit. What do they need to know for their highest good and for the highest good of all? November 2021, Spirit, for Leo. First card out, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Working really hard on something in your recent past. We have the Lovers card. Gemini energy here. We have the Devil and the Four of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands, the Hermit, the Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. So I think that you've been back and forth with um, somebody who's been kind of a toxic connection in your life. You have very strong, passionate feelings for this person. However, their actions or how they've treated, treated you has kind of left you on your own. So I think a lot of you have really been focusing on work, focusing on your own abundance and your own independence. It doesn't change the love that you have for this person or this, this connection you have with this individual. Some of you have a sum of money coming towards you. That's kind of setting you up in a more financially stable place. Or you've been financially stable, but it's just with like this extra little nest egg coming your way. Some of you have a king of wands energy. Either this is somebody coming towards you or this is you taking action toward what it is that you want. I think a lot of you are coming out of this hermit energy towards a new outcome or towards a new relationship. Let's get some clarity. Why is this Eight of Pentacles here, Spirit? Why is this Eight of Pentacles here, Spirit? Working on a house, possibly. Working on buying a house or some land. Three of Swords. So some of you, a job didn't work out the way that you wanted it to because I think that you have something else coming towards you, a higher paying job. Ooh. We have the Ten of Pentacles, yeah. So things that may have not worked out with this prior job of yours, but it is a lot of work for not enough money. <laughs> and so you're really setting yourself up here for a better paying option. Something that you're going to enjoy and it's not going to be so burdensome. I feel like you were, this was too much work. So I, I feel like there's a shift in your work happening. More money, less work. Something that you're going to enjoy. I think that you weren't really able to enjoy the fruits of your labor um, if you're working all the time. <laughs> Why is this lover's card here, Spirit? We have the Eight of Wands. So... Some of you have somebody, I'm, I'm not reading reversals, by the way. Some of you have your person feeling that your focus is not on them. And so they're wanting to light you up with messages. This could be a Libra that you're dealing with. Doesn't have to be, but I think that some of you are, it's like they flood you with communication and then they pull away. It's like you just want balance. You want there to be consistency with this person or with this relationship. We have the Emperor here, Aries energy. So I feel like this person that you're connecting with, it's like they, they go back and forth between being cold 
towards you or and then being loving towards you. It's a back and forth kind of a thing. Just feels like that they're not really on the same page with you when it comes to your connection. It's like all or nothing with them. And right now it might be feeling really great. But it's like you almost know that just wait because it's going to change. That's what the feeling I'm getting. But I, I know that you're really just working on your own independence here, Leo. You don't want to get involved in them emotionally again if they're just going to pull the rug out from under you again. Why is this double here? And the Four of Swords. So there's some healing energy coming forward here. Tell me more about this devil and this four of swords for Leo spirit. Page of swords. So, um, some of you have a, have a, a child together. Um, but this person is like watching you from a distance. Okay. If you're in separation from this person, they're, they're stalking you. They want to find out what you're up to. They're worried that they're, that you're. They feel threatened by your stability and your abundance. It's like they're trying to bring you down or throw you off balance here. It's kind of an immature kind of a person. Tell me more. Spirit about this person and this four, four of swords. They're really helping you learn some kind of important lesson here, Leo, about taking care of yourself and not relying on anyone else. The high priestess. So I, even with this person being at a distance from you, um, they, they're watching you and I know you feel it intuitively with the high priestess here. You feel them hanging around. You know that they haven't completely let you go when they do go in separation from you. It's like you can't shake this person. <laughs> They keep coming back. But like I said before, largely your focus has been on work because that's where you are able to really, you know that focusing on this person isn't going to be the best use of your time or energy. So you're really just focusing on your own money. Tell me more, Spirit. I, you're definitely on to this person. They know that you have them figured out. We have a Page of Cups here and a Queen of Cups. So some of you, if you have kids, right? You have kids, you're, you're focused on your kids. This person's been trying to throw you off balance. That's what this is all about. They're trying to grab your attention. They want you to stop focusing on everything else except them. But that's not what where you're at. <laughs> at this point, you are not worried about what they have going on. It's not for you to figure out their cold behavior, their ups and downs, their lack of communication. And then all of a sudden, all this communication. It's like, where have you been? What are you do? What have you been doing? It's hot, it's cold, it's hot, it's cold. That's what the energy I'm getting here. No matter what happens though, you are on this stable course for your life, whether they decide to join you or not. And I don't know that you really want to give them that choice to join you. I just think that you, you do have a very strong connection with this person. It's undeniable and you can't um, refute that. However, at this particular moment, it's their energy isn't worth your effort the way that they can't decide what they want either way you're providing your own stability here leo and that's really amazing to see interesting all right guys thanks so much for watching hit the like button if it resonated with you and i will see you in the next one thanks